Welcome back everybody to the Cornerstone SMP. Um, and after spending actually the entirety of last episode away from my base, I thought we should now use some time to dedicate to this place. And all its wonderful friends and neighbors that it brings us. But yeah, as I said in the last episode, I've been working, ouch. I've been working um, a lot on this factory <laughs> that we started actually two episodes back um, and that I've been talking about for a while even before that and it's actually finished now, at least the outside is, as always there's of course stuff to do on the interior. Um, I haven't been recording a time lapse of this because I just, I kind of built this like 20 minutes at a time because it's a really really big building, at least for me. I usually build at a smaller scale, um, you know, around the scale of the city buildings over there, that's usually what I go for. This is a lot bigger, <laughs> it was a little bit out of my comfort zone um, and so I definitely didn't manage to do it in one sitting or anything like that, um, instead just kind of chipped away at it every now and again um, until it was done, but I still really, really enjoyed making it. I'm also quite happy with how the design came out. Um, there's a lot of arches in this. You can see there's literally like three layers of arches right here, <laughs> um, which gives it a lot of awesome depth. Um, and yeah, I, I do quite like it. I, but I'll admit it, I was a bit lazy because I just did like the same design on this side and on this side over here. So it basically, it doesn't have a back, it just has two fronts. <laughs> but it's a good design, so I thought, why not? And then on the side, we just have these yeah, basically three different levels. Um, the lower wall, which is like the foundation, then we have this long window and then the smaller ones up here. And this very... Oh, I need to take care of these water errors. I'll do that in a sec. But then this little roof here on the top. The best way to look at this factory is definitely from like an upper angle. Um, it looks really good like this. It doesn't look all that great when you're standing on the ground looking up at it because the small roof on top literally just vanishes. You can't see it at all. But it's not a big problem because I'm almost never actually down here on the ground. <laughs> I'm usually like, uh, yeah, swimming around more up here and here it looks pretty good. So I think it's fine, but let's take a look at the inside. Yeah, here we go. It's uh, already trained completely. Um, and Red was kind enough to lend me a few of his sponges. Um, so it was a bit easier than you'd might maybe think. Uh, for the other buildings in the city, I just used gravel and literally, like literally filled them up with gravel or with sand and then got rid of all of the gravel and sand again. <laughs> and I really didn't want to do that for this for this big hall. So I just asked Red for a few sponges and he was nice enough to give them to me um, for this. So yeah, it's completely trained. We have a lot of space to breathe down here. We can divide this space into three levels. Um, so I'll be putting a floor up here, um, like what is it, one, two, three, four, five, six blocks and then the roof goes there for this uh, lower floor. And I maybe, I think I'll get rid like of one more level down here so that we have a bit more space and just steps going up to these doors on both sides of the room. And I was actually thinking, I know we have a small greenhouse over on the other side of the city, but um, I think I want to actually put like trees and stuff in here because the greenhouse is fine for bamboo and sugarcane and all those things but um, trees you can't grow in there. So this could be actually a pretty good space for that because obviously it's, it is very spacey and a lot of air and stuff and for like small oak trees it should be fine I think. Um, so that's an idea and then on the second level, like the first floor, um, I'm gonna put my storage because I'm really in need of that. <laughs> and then up on the top, um, I don't know yet. We'll have some space left and we can figure out what to do with that. But yeah, let's get started on this interior.
So there was a slight change of plan. Um, instead of using this space to grow trees, I decided to turn it into an old-fashioned bathhouse instead because why not? <laughs> yeah, that, that's what it looks like. Um, I wanted to have some greenery as well in here because um, it's kind of, you know, this wet space that I guess is kind of moldy at this point. So we have the algae growing on in there and whatever this is growing up, <laughs> the pillars. Some kind of vines that um, just have taken over the area over time. I also used these sites here to, yeah, basically just grabbed all the random uh, pieces of armor that I had lying around and put them up as little figures here on the side, which I think turned out pretty nice. I still might want to do some armor stand book work on them <laughs> to give them like little poses um but we'll see we'll see it's all a work in progress i also already put in some uh some little fish one of them did die um so i think these might be going in the future as well they sometimes they seem to hop on 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 the floor here on the side i think it's because these are stairs um and so they kind of get bucked on onto here and then they die but the one that did die i actually named spock so <laughs> it's actually kind of funny in the end um but yeah then we have the second layer up here which i of course used as, as the storage area um i put up chests and barrels it's a bit of an unconventional way to store stuff not the chests and barrels i mean but the way I the way I, I put them up I guess <laughs> but I think it's this is gonna work for me I've got a lot of space I've already put on put all the stuff that I had over in the startup building um, in here and we still got a lot of empty area as well I don't actually have that much stuff to be honest with you <laughs> um, I, I usually just get the resources I need for the build and then have a bit left over but I don't have like tons of cobblestone or anything like that lying around because I haven't really been mining um like yeah that's all the underside i got you know this is and then this is the cobblestone i mean it's not nothing you know it's two shulker boxes and then this but usually i think i actually have more but um yeah this is pretty good uh progress i think um i do really like this interior it's not that special but i like the feel of it i think it's not necessarily um, like this bathhouse, right? It's not necessarily what you'll expect in an industrial city, maybe, but it's still kind of old-fashioned and I like that it feels like it's in this, yeah, as I said, kind of wet, old, overgrown space. Um, and yeah, I think it's pretty fitting for this old factory. There is also these elevators that go up to the uppermost level underneath the roof, which doesn't have anything in it as of yet. But yeah, that's uh, pretty good work done on the factory, I think, for now. We'll of course get back to it, um, maybe even in this episode, I don't know yet. But for now I actually want to go back over to Red's minigame island um, that we've already been working on a bit in the last episode. So Red has been putting up quite a few buildings around here. I also did um, stretch the biome out a bit more, mainly here around the back. But I didn't really have a chance to be on a lot over the last few days, so it's not as much as I would like it to be, to be honest with you. Um, but it is definitely something. <laughs> but yeah, these houses, I really like them. They're super cute, um, very unique as well. I mentioned this in the last episode with these mus mushroom blocks, I really adore that. But what we're gonna do for today is put up interiors for these, um, to give it yeah as much detail as possible. Um, we'll see how many houses we'll do, but uh, let's just get started. Um, I put my boxes just over here. Yeah, I bought a bunch of random stuff um, and we'll see what we can do. I'm gonna start with this one, I think, and I'll just turn it into like uh, a pretty normal house where just someone lives. Um, another one I might turn into like a forge or something along those lines, like give them more of a specific purpose, but I think this will do fine of just being like, yeah, a living space we can have a kind of... Um, living room merged kitchen down here then this is just like a small closet or harry potter house i guess and up here the um bedroom yeah so i'll have to get rid of a bit of the flooring so that we can um put in carpet right here but that's okay or at least i hope it is <laughs> and then a little couch with a small table maybe like this or let's actually put the stair at the end like this this right here will make a good kitchen, I think, this side. Um, can you put lanterns on top of 
scaffolding yes you can very good um now this roof it's the entire room is two and a half blocks tall so i think i can hide a barrel in here and we'll just make that work somehow upstairs <laughs> but yeah that's pretty decent i think and yeah and then we'll have the counter right here like this and maybe put a chest up on here there we go yeah so i'll keep decorating these houses um like this bit by bit and i'll catch you up as we go along this building is finished and i think it serves um pretty well to explain kind of what i'm going for with these interiors um in general it's a very basic interior but of course it's supposed to look old and abandoned so we have yeah it's it's dirty the the carpet's all like, torn up um there's stuff growing everywhere and all the nooks so, so as i said i would i turned this um downstairs room into a kitchen slash living room we've got a little puff of fish here on the kitchen counter <laughs> um i love these these heads they're amazing um here's this just yeah small uh, space for some clothing and then up here um it's of course as well overgrown we have this broken up lamp which i think is a pretty neat little idea um and yeah the 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 bed and here's a little nook with two treasure maps that i put up which i also thought would be kind of fitting since this is supposed to be like a um ex-pirate island um in a way and then we've got the reading area and yeah that's pretty much it for this building doing these interiors takes quite a bit longer than you'd maybe think. Um, it's a lot of detailing, a lot of different items, but I do really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun and I did um, one, two, three, yeah, three more buildings. So we, four in total are finished by now. Um, let's take a quick little look. So this one is supposed to be like a small smeltery, um, like ores here on the table, but of course again it's all abandoned and overgrown. And then up here is like a little bedroom and a closet. I've never seen that before. Uh, I don't know if that's so I did tweak my research pack a little bit so that um, the vines as well as like ladders um, and rails and iron bars I think as well look a bit more three-dimensional I don't know if that's <laughs> if that's a bug of the research pack or what is happening here but, but I don't know it actually looks kind of cool in a way I guess we'll just leave it at that but yeah that's this building it's just a small one but I think it's quite nice um, then the next one would be right behind here we've got um yeah this i don't know a table and a chair it's not as exciting is it um and then again like the uh, the bedroom up here i tried to vary it up a bit with like different woods and stuff but i mean there's a lot of buildings and i think sometimes just oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> that scared me for no necessary reason um but yeah sometimes a living room or something is enough to give it a little bit of a uh, charm and feel i think but this right here is more of a small restaurant um with tables and chairs and then whatever this is and upstairs we've got what who would believe it it's a bedroom uh yeah um i, I don't know for some reason i thought i was a bit more creative than this but I guess not. Um, we've got a lot of bedrooms, but that's okay. People need to sleep somewhere, I guess. But yeah, that's 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 good. That's kind of it for for the building so far. Um, as I said, it's been fun, and I'll continue doing that with the other ones as far as Red wants me to do it. Um, but for this episode, there is one more thing that I want to do, and that is over in the shopping district. So Hicks has put up these beacons around the shopping district, and everybody has been adding their um, like Minecraft pixel faces to them as like a little decorational thing. And yeah, I brought some materials. So let's try and get this face installed in here as well. And there we go, all done. But wow, I just noticed that is some heavy eyeliner I've got going on. But um, that's where we're gonna end it off for today. I really hope that you enjoyed this episode. I certainly enjoyed making it. I enjoyed working on all these different projects um, that we've got going on at the moment where the factory is kind of done, except for the except for the uppermost level, I suppose. But the minigame island, of course, is far from finished and I look forward to getting more work done over there. So yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this episode. Um, I have been Alice and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.